let's take a look at a triple chain rule. So I'm gonna use the function f of x equal to sine of one plus x squared raised to the one half power. So we'll have three functions here. I have the sine function, I have the function say f of x equal to one plus x squared, and then I also have a square root function. So let's take a look at how we go about this. Now, probably the best way to do this is just to follow out the definition. So the idea is gonna be this. I start from the outside, work my way to the inside. So here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just start off with outside function sine, inside function is gonna be one plus x squared to the one half. So when we do our derivative, it's gonna be derivative of the outside, evaluate at the inside, times the derivative of the inside. So here, I'm just following straight out definition of chain rule. Go to my next step, what are we gonna do? Well, what's the derivative of sine? Derivative of sine is gonna be cosine. So for this term, it's just gonna be cosine evaluated at whatever is on the inside of that thing to start with. So I just bring this down as is. Next term, what are we gonna do? I want the derivative of one plus x squared to the one half. So the idea is gonna be this. I'm gonna cover up the inside, the one plus x squared, one half comes down, minus one half for the new exponent. Then we just stick our one plus x squared into there. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So it's gonna be a one plus x squared prime. All right, so the first two terms pretty much taken care of. One plus x squared prime, derivative of that with respect to x is just gonna be two x. So now all I gotta do is clean up. So the twos will go away. I can put the x out in front, in front of the cosine, and then having this minus one half here is just saying, keep it a one half, but put it in the denominator as so. So my final answer winds up being x cosine one plus x squared to the one half all over one plus x squared to the one half. If you want to do it quick, all you need to do is cover this up. What's the derivative of sine? That's cosine. Put the inside back in, and then I just multiply by the derivative of this thing. So that's right there. So we cover the inside up. What's the derivative of that? One half minus one half. Put that back in, take the derivative of the inside. That's gonna give me two x. And then collapse everything to your final quotient and you're done. So that's how you wanna do it when you get enough practice.